I saw a note in Reddit uh, yesterday about not being able to get Active Trader Pro Classic. So I went to the uh, Active Trader Pro search for Google, clicked on it, and what do I see? Download ATP Beta. Well, before it used to have Download ATP Beta and Download ATP. So uh, what do you do? Well, if you want the classic, there's this little thing here in small letters called ATP Classic. And so we click on that, and it has Download ATP, and we get Download 64-bit uh, for PC, 32-bit for B PC, and 32-bit for Mac, and the two Active Trader Pro beta variants. So this is the default. Now, is, is it an accident that it comes this way, or is it just a matter that ATP Beta comes before ATP Classic alphabetically? So what I did was I immediately downloaded ATP Classic Windows and Mac and saved it on my NAS. Now, I got this email today. There's more to explore in Active Trader Pro Beta. To take your trading to the next level, download the desktop app creation or log back in to check the latest features, options, summary, specific share trading. And they have a couple live events hosted by the trading strategy desks where we discuss trading, sorry, trading tools, strategies, and more. New indicators with ATP, July 28th from noon to 1. Introduction to ATP beta session 1, July 28th from 2.30 to 3.30. Introduction session 2. Uh, from 2.30 to 3.30. Now, it's possible that these are the same thing. They just have two sessions, but uh, that's a lot of seminars uh, for one afternoon. So it seems like Fidelity is trying to push Active, Tro Active Trader Pro beta pretty hard. Uh, the issue I have is that uh, there's still a bunch of bugs in Active Trader Pro beta. I've reported several of them uh, a couple of times, and they haven't been fixed. And uh, there's a lot of functionality missing from Active Trader Pro Beta. Now, the motivation could be that Apple has stated that uh, they will end Rosetta 2 in 2027. So we have about two years of, of uh, Rosetta 2. And Without Rosetta 2, uh, Fidelity Active Trader Pro won't run on Mac OS uh, Apple Silicon. So uh, it, it kind of lights a fire, but I still kind of, I don't see Active Trader Pro beta becoming released in 2025, and it's hard to see it in 2026 at the current pace that they're going. Uh, on this note, by the way, I bought a, uh, or I ordered a new laptop, and it's a Windows laptop so that I can use Active Trader Pro on the road. Um, I can run Active Trader Pro on my MacBook Pro M1 16, but it's, uh, it's not efficient and it heats up the laptop. Um, I also wanted a 14 inch as opposed to a 16 inch because. Uh, the 16 inch is fine when I'm driving for traveling, but when I'm on an airplane, I prefer uh, s something smaller and lighter. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably get the 14 inch MacBook Pro. But I'm going with Intel this time for travel just because of Active Trader Pro and me not seeing that Active Trader Pro beta is going to uh, go release within the next 12 to 18 months. So uh, if you like Active Trader Pro Classic, uh, you might want to download it and save it somewhere because uh, it might become hard to find at some point. Um, I guess that's my comment. I'll do a review of the, uh, the new Windows laptop uh, when I get it. It's not going to be anytime soon. It's a Lenovo Yoga 2-in-1, and I ordered it. I think on Monday, and it's expected to arrive uh, at the end of the month.